YouTube, it's your girl Destiny. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for your continuing support. And today we'll be doing a colorful cut crease using my Jaclyn Hill palette and also my Jam Rock palette. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Starting off, I already washed my face moisturize it if you would like to see my routine for prepping for makeup please check out my everyday makeup routine i will link that up above and also leave it linked at the end of this video so now that my face is completely clean and moisturized i'm going to first do my eyebrows you always want to of course brush them into place before you start so, I'm going to improvise. So, using my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to fill in my brows using this dark brown right here called Soda Pop. And I'm just going to be using an angle brush to do that. All right, now using my NYX concealer. And remember, brows are not twins, they're sisters. So if you guys have any suggestions for me or tips, leave them down in the comment section. So now I'm going to apply my P. Louise. Use any concealer or anything that um, perups your eye, uh, canvas base or anything like that. So I'm gonna apply this on my lid, pat it in. brush and blend that in even more. The purpose of this concealer is to get your eyelid all one shade. That way your eyeshadows are consistent and they're vibrant on your eye. So you always want to use a lighter concealer to give you that lighter base. Because I have oily skin, um, I'm going to apply some translucent powder. This is my ELF's translucent powder. I'm going to dab some of that over that P. Louise just to make sure I don't get that much creasing on my eye. And I will leave um, all products used in the description box below. And you want to just tap that in. You don't want to swipe because you'll be lifting up the concealer and that won't give you a flat canvas to apply your eyeshadow. So now that my eyelids are prepped, I'm going to grab my Gem Rock palette and I'm going to apply this pink right here called Bubble to my outer crease in a V shape. And I'm going to be using my crease brush and this is the dent side. Um, it's not as fluffy as other crease brush. That way I can get more of the pigment on my eye um, versus this one. And this is the NYX Professional Dual Brush. So first I'm going to dab that into my skin. Just getting the product over my eye first and then I will blend it out. Again, I'm doing it in a V shape. You're gonna keep applying the shadows to build those pigments up. And that's the key. Now that I have a good amount of that product on my eye, I'm gonna actually blend that with a with windshield wiper motions towards my inner eye, but I'm just pulling it in a little bit. And I'm going to also swipe out um, to blend out that end. And I'm tapping some of that purple over the pink. Right now, applying more of that pink, and then I'm actually gonna dab some of that pink over the line of the purple 
and you kind of merge it into that purple. And I'm just gonna repeat this step for both shades. Anytime you blend in the other shade, um, you're gonna lose the previous shade. So that's why it's important to keep applying your eyeshadow throughout the eye look. I'm gonna apply this blue right here called Costume right next to the purple. Again, dabbing that in and building up that shade first and then blending into the purple. All right, so I'm gonna swipe that into my inner eye and also swipe it into the purple to blend that. Now that I have all shades on my eye, I'm going to continue these steps until it's vibrant. And I'm just doing windshield wiper motions and I'm being very light and just wiping over that to get them to merge into one another. Now I'm gonna go over edges of each shade and using a light hand and just swiping back and forth. I'm losing some of that purple, so I'm gonna tap a little more of that on. Just gonna lightly go over the top again. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to apply the P. Louise on my lid to cut my eye. I'm just carving that out. And I'm going above my crease because you don't want your eyeshadow to move um, because you didn't make it high enough. So, I'm not cutting my eye completely. I'm gonna leave a little space at the end. And I'm going to pat that in and apply my shimmer shade. In the ends, you wanna do it unevenly because you don't want a harsh line. Now using my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm gonna use this blue shimmer shade right here. And I'm just going to tap that into the concealer. Now for my under eye, I'm going to bring that pink um, under. Now I'm gonna smudge some of that purple right above the pink on my bottom lash line. I'm gonna apply my white eyeliner to my bottom lash line. Okay, now I'm going to apply my lashes and finish the rest of my face. And I'll be back with the finished look. All right guys, this is the finished look. I had so much fun creating this look. If you enjoyed this video as well, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you get notified every time I post. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.